The Synod of Bishops started 50 years ago, towards the end of the Second Vatican Council. It's an international group of bishops who meet upon the Pope's request to delve into a pressing issue for the Church and all its members. A synod is an assembly of bishops who represent the universal Church. They are called by the Pope to Rome. Most synods last about two to three weeks. Anywhere from 200 to 250 bishops participate alongside the Pope. Each bishop is given the public floor for three minutes. And during the meetings, the groups discuss issues in depth. It is not a parliament. It's an advisory council in which bishops can intervene, discuss and present proposals to the Pope. At the end of the synod, a list of proposals is sent to the Pope. Usually, it will be the basis for one of the Pope's magisterial documents. The Synod's proposal should be seen as the result of collegiate cooperation. We call this way synodal, which is amplified because it brings everyone together, at the base, not only the bishops. The whole church participates. In fact, in the first phase, we hold a general council. Synods take place approximately every two years. The latest ones, for example, have discussed the Bible, the Eucharist, and the new evangelization. Since the beginning of synods 50 years ago, there have been 27 synods. Pope Francis' first synod, which is currently taking place, of course, deals with how the church can improve its pastoral outreach to families.